For this equation, we have aluminum, and we're adding that to copper 2 chloride. We end up with aluminum chloride and then this copper here. Count the atoms up. We have one aluminum, one copper, two chlorines. We have one aluminum here. Coppers, we have one. Chlorines, we have three. Whenever I have an odd number like this, I like to get that to an even number, and that usually makes things quite a bit easier. To do that, I'll put a 2 in front of this AlCl3, so that means I have 3 times 2. That'll give me 6 chlorines, and then 1 times 2. That'll give me the 2 aluminum atoms. Over here on the reactant side, if I want to balance the chlorines, now I can just put a 3 in front of this. 2 times 3, that'll give me the 6, and then 1 times 3. That'll give me 3 chlorines. So the coppers, they're not balanced, the aluminums aren't balanced, but the chlorines are. And because we have a copper by itself here and an aluminum by itself here, those are really easy to fix. So for this aluminum, I need to have two to balance that out. So I just put a two in front of the aluminum, one times two, that equals two. For the copper, I need three. So I'll just put a three right here, one times three, that equals three. And that's it, we've balanced this equation. This is Dr. B with the balance equation for Al plus CuCl3 yields AlCl3 plus Cu. And thanks for watching.